Eight-year-old traditional Peruvian folk dancer Jocelyn Delgado and her partner Brian Flores regaled the McGill Training Center audience at this week's Hispanic Heritage Month observance. Hello and welcome to Mead Week. I'm Brian Spann. We'll have more from McGill in just a moment. Also this week, Army National Guard stands up first cyber protection team. Details on the upcoming Red Ribbon Week and Military Family Appreciation Week. These stories and more. But first, in just a few weeks, Army and Navy teams will wage war on Mullins Field for the 15th straight year here at Fort Meade. And after years of Army domination, the Navy exacted a measure of revenge in last year's blowout victory. And in a game that seems to get bigger every year, event sponsors MWR and the Anne Arundel West County Chamber of Commerce are being joined this year by USAA. USAA, a primary sponsor of the National Army-Navy game being held December 13th this year at M&T Bank Stadium in Baltimore, will be filming game action and audience reaction for use in television spots that will be aired during the big game on December 13th. Other attractions this year include a giveaway of a 50-inch television and, of course, plenty of tailgate food. This year's game, usually held in December, is scheduled for Tuesday, November 4th at Mullins Field next to Gaffney Gym. The tailgate starts at 3 with kickoff at 4. For more information, go to www.ftmeetmwr.com. In a related story, the Army-Navy game is part of Military Family Appreciation Week, November 3rd through the 8th. MWR has a full slate of events scheduled, including a lunch buffet, a family swim meet, a big family appreciation day event at the youth sports complex, and much more. Once again, you can go to www.ftmeetmwr.com for all the details. In other news, the Army National Guard recently stood up its first cyber protection team in ceremonies at McLaughlin Parade Field. The National Guard filed this report on the activation of the 1636th. On behalf of Lieutenant General Edward C. Cardone, Commanding General, U.S. Army Cyber Command and Second Army, the presiding officer for today's ceremony, welcome to the United States Army Cyber Command and Second Army, Army National Guard Cyber Protection Team, shoulder sleeve insignia ceremony. Today, Lieutenant General Edward C. Cardone will honor the Cyber Protection Team by officially applying the Cyber Protection Team members with the Army Cyber Command shoulder sleeve insignia. What's so important about today's ceremony, it shows the Army's total commitment to a total force approach to cyberspace operations, which we absolutely have to have. Yeah, I agree with General Cardone. I think today's a demonstrable step on our total force approach to all things cyber. And the partnership with General Cardone and uh, U.S. Army Cyber Command uh, and the Army National Guard is as strong as, as it's ever been. In other news, Red Ribbon Week is October 23rd through the 31st. The Fort Meade Garrison Substance Abuse Prevention Office is holding a kickoff event next Tuesday, the 21st, from 11.30 to 1 at the McGill Training Center. Communities across the nation observe Red Ribbon Week every year with events and displays designed to show their commitment to a drug-free lifestyle. Once again, the kickoff event is Tuesday, October 21st at the McGill Training Center. Meanwhile, the Garrison Equal Employment Opportunity Office and the Navy Information Operations Command Maryland hosted this year's Hispanic Heritage Month observance this week at McGill Training Center. This year's event was a little different in that there was no scheduled guest speaker, but a cultural fair with displays highlighting various Latino cultures. Here's a quick sampling of this year's Hispanic Heritage Month observation. Natilla, it's a Colombian dessert, and we have empanadas. Good. We are sampling this um, Novamex, the, co the corporation donated 450 of these Mexican sodas to us and various flavors. And here at this Day of the Dead, we're doing a Day of the Dead uh, and on, it's Mexico's biggest holiday. And so we're celebrating um, here at this table and um, we're giving out samples of the Mexican soda, but everybody gets their very own bottle though. <laughs> we just brought uh, some candy to give you an idea, we don't just have Snickers or, or Twizzlers or anything like that. We have traditional candy that's made with real fruit, because that's all they had. They didn't have factories to mass produce. And then we just brought some food, and just a little bit of history, just a little bit of taste with what we wear, with what uh, traditional Puerto Rican wear. And that's Mead Week for this week. I'm Brian Spann. We close with the sounds of Sal Bon Play. For everyone at Mead TV and the Fort Mead Public Affairs Office, have a great weekend and a great Mead Week. One, two,